rights of humanity, whether anybody likes it or not. And therefore, do not let us down. Do not let the most high God down because you are the salt of the earth. You are the apple of the most high God's eye. You are sent on a very special mission. That mission is to ensure ultimate restoration of the land of Jaffa and by extension to ensure freedom to the rest of humanity who are still suffering under shackles of oppression, shackles of injustice and marginalization. Any injury on this group of people around the world is an injury to all of us. That is why we are united, the common destiny with all men and women around the world who are genuinely struggling for their freedom. They are our brothers, they are our sisters. But more importantly, we have a very important, a very heavy task before us. Anambra election, not boycotted. They think that we are all gone, but they were surprised that great Biafrans in different parts of Biafra land converged in Anambra two days ago. What was the result? They were all stamping for safety. Some of them are asking, oh, has an Anakan come back? I thought he's gone. And we are telling them that the journey had just begun and that the Anakmeas have, have just started. We ask the Most High God to quote, to, to come down in his majestic power, in his mighty valor, to enveloping every one of us here, our families, our relations, and indeed, the entire IP family members around the world. It shall be well with all of us. This is the promise that Most High God has made to us. Otherwise, we will not be here doing what we are doing. We ask Him to remember His promises to our ancestors, to our progenitors, and indeed this present generation of their friends, who are standing in the gap for millions. Wherever our leader, Mazin Khan is, it shall be well with him and his family. And all hardcore dedicated Yafis. Mohammed Buhari will never know peace. Because he represents evil and everything that is bad. He has committed countless abominations on our land. The worst aspect of it is that there are some people who are aiding and abetting and indeed propagating these heinous crimes against our people and on our land. The so-called Hanese Dibu, the so-called Southeast governors, and some PhD men who are, of course, hiding under the pretext of preaching the word of God. They cannot be Pastors, they cannot be reverend fathers when our people are being killed, when the blood of innocent Biafans are being spilled and they will keep quiet. It is not the Spirit of God that is propelling them. For the Spirit of God will always aim to preserve life. And wherever there is freedom, Biafans will always be there. We shall liberate the land of Biafra because. Millions have died because of that name. They did not die because they want to restructure Nigeria. They did not die because they want one Nigeria. They died because of their freedom. They paid the ultimate price in the process. And therefore, we will not abandon them because they didn't abandon us. We shall complete that journey. And if any one of us here is not ready, the best thing to do is to quietly chicken out. Do you think that we are not ready? No! We are ready. 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 Then let us move Shut. forward. First of all, Anandra election must be cut 
How many of us here have called our family member? Let us be sincere. Me, 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 that's good. <laughs> that is good. This is part and parcel of the work we are supposed to be doing. So about Our people are on the streets in Biafra land. They are using their heads, their bodies to receive bullets and gunshot wounds. We are in foreign land. We have to do the minimum. The minimum responsibility on our side is to continue to ask them. To continue to encourage them, and more importantly, to stay at home on the 18th of November 2017. That Biafra may come. Some people don't understand what this means. Mohammed Buhari is panicking. Asso Rock is panicking. They are running helter skelter. Because of IPOB, they are not talking about restructuring. And when they unleashed terrorism on our people, they killed many of our people, they took away our leader. They now popped champagne. They are now jubilating. Then we are telling them that it is too early for them because they are yet to see what is to come. What is coming behind us is more than none they can and all of us put together. Like I said, wherever our supreme leader is, we shall be well with him. You he said, he stood in the gap for millions of people when so many were still sleeping. Today, what he has done, together with dedicated peer fans around the world, has ushered in a fresh air of liberation, fresh air of boldness and courage, even in the camp of our enemies. Even among those who call themselves Nigerians, they are beginning to fight themselves. That is how the Spirit of God works. The Pharaoh of our time, Muhammad Buhari, will never know peace. He said, The Spirit of innocent Biafrans massacred in cold blood will rise up. They are already rising up. They will continue to hunt him. They will continue to hunt him. Until he disappears from the face of this planet Earth. He said, the same goes to all those who are supporting him. The most treacherous individuals and groups in Biafra. Abomination is an abomination. It is our responsibility, individually and collectively, to stand for the truth and against injustice. You are a privileged group of people. And you don't allow those who are looking up to you to be discouraged. We will continue to move ahead and ahead. We ask the most high God to bless all the work of our hands. Amen. That in the end, Biafra will be restored. This is a special broadcast, a very important event here. Uh, one of it is um, the launching of the Biafra Telegraph here in the city of Copenhagen in Denmark. Of course, so many, so many things have been done before now. There was launching going on and there were other side events. But this is the broadcast proper and we shall of course allow our people to participate and to see what is the remaining part of this uh, program of action that we have here. I will not waste time. I am surrounded by some of our veterans, and we are honored to be in their midst today. They will talk to us. They will also give us words of encouragement. And after that, all of us here, we have to introduce ourselves. After introducing ourselves, we will have to respond individually to what is going on in Biafra land and in the contraption called Nigeria. And we also have to tell our people the level of our preparedness. Are we going to be the last? No. no. 
then if we are not going to be the last, we should be prepared to tell our people where we are in this problem. Of course, for us to be here means that we make sense. I don't want to speak on your behalf. We will have to speak by ourselves, individually, one by one, that the rest of humanity will understand that indeed, in the city of Copenhagen and in Denmark, there are their friends. I will hand over my microphone at this particular point in time to our national here in the person of uh, Pastor Moya. Thank you very much. Thank you, fellow dear fans, men and women that are here today. 